Hi, it's so good to see you. I appreciate you stopping by. Today's video is for single guys in the early stages of dating. When you're going out on a date with somebody new, should you just be yourself or should you try to be somebody better? I've taken improv theater classes over the past few years and I believe there are some great bits of advice and techniques I was taught that work really well for dating. Besides building up the confidence to perform unscripted scenes in front of an audience while trying to be entertaining and funny, how does improv relate to dating? During our training we learned three important things you must always try to do when performing improv that are just as important on a date. Number one, you have to actively listen and observe. You've got to pay close attention to what the other person says, their body language and tone. Only then will you know the best way to respond so the conversation develops into a relationship. Number two, you have to be agreeable and add to the conversation, what is known as saying yes and. This technique keeps the dialogue positive and moving forward through partnership rather than only one person asking questions or making assumptions the entire time. Number three, when on stage, you should present a heightened version of yourself. That means you have high energy, quick reflexes, and a positive, open, confident attitude. Once you've incorporated these three techniques into your dating persona, focus on the following top eight strategies that can improve your odds for success on a first date. Number one, set your intention before the date. Rather than considering what you want from the other person, go into the date thinking about what you want for yourself. Do you want to get to know someone new? Do you want to have an enjoyable evening out? Is this a good excuse to try that new sushi place or see a particular film? Setting an intention gives you something to hold on to and helps you remember to stay present in the moment if you start feeling anxious. Number two, use self-deprecating humor to break the ice. Tell a story about a small failure to encourage your date to smile and laugh. This lets her know you don't take yourself too seriously and you have a sense of humor. She will see that you prefer to laugh off the little things rather than get angry or frustrated. This is comforting and will make her feel safer in your presence. One little mistake like ruining a meal you were cooking or sending an email to the wrong person shows you're vulnerable and easygoing while encouraging your date to share more about herself with you. Number three, build up your confidence by writing compliments you receive and give yourself five more. As I've said in past videos, confidence is attractive. However, the dating scene can put a dent in anyone's confidence. The next time someone pays you a compliment, make a note of it. By writing down what others say they like about you, you're training yourself to value and remember these positive thoughts. Before your date, read these compliments to yourself. Then look in the mirror and say five things out loud that you like about yourself. Visualize a time when you felt powerful and important and how that felt. Then, recall that feeling when you need a boost of confidence throughout the evening. Number four, present the best physical version of yourself. Choose clothing that fits well and is appropriate for the occasion, and let her know by your appearance that you cared enough to look and smell nice for your date. If you want her eyes on you all night, then do your best to present a captivating image. Number five, enjoy the moment and learn something new. Dating is meant to be a fun way to get to know another person. A first date is an excellent time to make small talk and ask questions. People love to talk about themselves and you can learn something new about that person or about an aspect of life that you have yet to discover. Even if you have no interest in something they really care about, you can still ask. Why do you like that? What do you get from it? How does it make you feel? Create an opportunity to really get to know this person better and connect with them. If you expand your knowledge along the way, you'll feel like it was time well spent 
even if you don't see each other again. Number six, focus on what you like about her. Rather than judging your date in comparison with other women you've known, look at her as a unique individual and pick out the things you like most about her. Determine the aspects of her personality that interest or surprise you. The more we look for the good things in others, the more good things we will find. Number seven, no games. Be honest, open, and vulnerable. One of the big lies of dating is that the one who cares less is the one who wins, when in reality, the less you care about a relationship, the less you get from it. It's okay for the person you've just gone on a date with to know you like them. Being upfront about that shows courage, confidence, and respect, because it indicates that you don't waste anybody's time playing games. Number eight, be persistent, but not pushy. If you just had an amazing time with someone and don't want it to end, tell her how much you enjoyed the date and offer coffee, dessert, or a second date. If she politely declines, leave it there for the night. If a man is too aggressive in his desire to get his date to go home with him or to go out with him again, it's a massive turnoff that ruins any future potential. Instead, just thank her for the evening and see that she gets home safely. Your graceful reaction will earn points in your favor that could pay off in dates to come. Dating can be a difficult, confidence-busting, negative, and depressing set of experiences, so it's important to equip yourself to turn that around. Follow these eight tips before your next date and let me know how it goes by leaving a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to subscribe. I'll be uploading a new video every Thursday as well as occasional bonus videos. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side